students. Um, I'm Gaurav Ravel. My background is in uh, pharmaceutical industry. So I have obtained a master's degree uh, in pharmaceutical sciences, as well as a bachelor's degree in uh, pharmaceutical uh, chemistry uh, from University of Toronto. Uh, I, I have uh, approximately to seven to 10 years of experience in uh, pharmaceutical industry. Uh, I've been in uh, some of the leading roles as a senior scientist, a senior chemist in a few well-reputed uh, organizations. I will uh, briefly explain my role at NSCPT. So I joined NSCPT in uh, 2020 as a lead trainer, uh, as well as professor in uh, pharmaceutical uh, and cannabis QAQC department. Uh, my major role here is to train students and professionals in uh, cannabis uh, analytical testing, uh, method development, and method validation. Uh, and we are using several types of instruments here, uh, such as HPLC, uh, GC, and dissolution apparatus. So uh, I would like to explain uh, some of the important topics that I cover uh, during my training. In the lab training itself, uh, uh, I'm responsible for uh, giving in-depth understanding to the students regarding the operation as well as uh, troubleshooting of HPLC and GC instruments. So these are most commonly used instrument in, a, in a cannabis industry as well as pharmaceutical industry. In this course, uh, I'm also providing the preliminary training uh, on the method development and method validation area. And this, this area is very uh, popular because as more and more cannabis products are coming into the market, it, uh, there is a need for having a specialized method. Uh, which needs a uh, method development and method validation. So the first part of my training is the instrument training. So in the instrument training, my focus is on uh, making students understand on how each component of the instrument works. Uh, and if there is any issues uh, while operating the instrument, how to troubleshoot that in, uh, issue. So um, my goal in the instrument training is to make sure they understand everything clearly and can also resolve issue if they face any issues. Uh, my second part of the training is uh, mainly focused on software training. Um, so without in-depth knowledge of the software, uh, it is not possible to operate any instruments as well as do the data processing. So uh, software training is very critical. Uh, I, I spend uh, uh, enough time and, and you know, in, in making sure they understand the operation of the software as well as use uh, in the uh, routine testing uh, that is normally conducted in pharmaceutical as well as cannabis industry. And uh, last uh, component of the training actually includes the actual lab training. So uh, most of my lab training is summarized in the lab protocol or, or, or the lab method that is provided to the students. So in that method, uh, I have given step-by-step -step instructions on how to uh, um, uh, perform the lab uh, procedures. Um, some of the components of the lab procedure include standard preparation and sample preparation. Uh, standard preparation includes uh, different types of cannabinoids. Uh, so we, we know that there are approximately 16 types of cannabinoids that are uh, routinely used. So I show students how to approach uh, preparation of standards. Uh, in terms of sample preparation, we use various types of samples, uh, going from uh, cannabis flower samples, oil samples, and different uh, matrices. Um, so that those type of samples, uh, I show students how to perform uh, the extraction procedures, what type of solvents to use. So uh, that will, that is one of the focus during uh, my training. Um, for uh, either HPLC or GC. Course. How relevant uh, this training is for uh, industry. Um, so all the cannabis lab training that we do here uh, at NSCPT, uh, and especially focused on HPLC and GC, is primarily focused on preparing students in uh, various careers, um, cannabis testing careers uh, in, in this field. So. As you, as you guys are aware of, that cannabis industry is a very demanding area uh, as most of the regulatory agencies are requiring a proof of uh, testing on your cannabis product and using a validated uh, either HPLC method or GC. So 
I make sure that students are prepared uh, uh, in this course to, to answer their questions and then also help build the lab for, for doing that kind of test. So in conclusion, uh, I would recommend uh, this program for students uh, as well as professionals who would initiate or uh, advance their careers uh, in cannabis testing, especially in uh, QC and QA area or research and development area.